Here we are starting up a new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to go over is adding to our character animation where we left off of a blinking character and we're going to add a uh, sound, us recording our own voice and then syncing the different mouth shapes to the voice that we've recorded in our animation. I've also added a graphic for my character to be kind of excited about and um, you could add any kind of graphic into your animation. Your character could be um, more scared or surprised or happy or um, excited, whatever emotion, um, you know, even saddened if you so feel that way. Um, so whatever you want to add in here, your recording is going to kind of be based off of that. And so my recording is going to be of my character going woohoo because he is ready to eat some pizza. So what we're gonna to use to record is uh, a app called Twisted Wave. And Twisted Wave is just an online um, recording program that we can use. It is available for download and you get some more features if you pay to download it. We're just really gonna use the bare bones version which is just at twistedwave.com slash online. And if you haven't already, you should register. Um, when you register, you can have your um, recordings sent straight to your Google Drive um, and it makes things nice and streamlined. Um, I've already registered, so I'm just going to click on sign in. Um, you should sign in with Google if you're using your Chromebooks and you have your class um, email and stuff like that all set with the passwords and whatnot, or you can sign in um, the longer way. Um, and then you'll just have to answer or respond to a, um, a com confirmation email and get back to them that that is in fact you. Um, so uh, I went through, uh, I had to update some of my, my Flash Player settings in order to uh, get this to run correctly, but um, I believe it's set now. So what we want to do is go to this new uh, button here and go to empty file, new empty file, and that will open up our sound or audio editor window. And I'll just stretch that a little bit here. And basically all the controls we're gonna need is just this red button to record. If you hover over any tools, it will tell you, tell you what uh, those different buttons do. Um, but for now, again, we're just getting started here. Gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna click record. I am going to allow Flash Player to use this app and then hit close and then say woohoo. And then hit stop. Okay, so as you and I both know, we got a little bit of extra time recorded in there because as soon as you clicked close on that Flash Player accepting window, uh, it started recording on you right away. So got a little bit here that we wanna get rid of. Um, if I click in this lower hand, lower hand side up here, I can look at my sound wave like the full thing. Um, down here, I can click and drag to actually edit the sound wave. And we can edit a little bit in Adobe Animate as well. It's just easier to do it actually in this editor. Okay, so once I clipped over that beginning and end part, I'm gonna hit play. And you can see, I said, and then I'm gonna say right in here. So uh, I have a little bit more that I want to delete here. So I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard. Now let's try to play this again. Okay, so still a little bit. And. So there we go. I think I pretty much have it down to the sound that I need. Um, so what now I'm going to do is go to this green arrow in the corner here and hit export and send to Google Drive. And what I would like to title this is I will title it Woo. And MP3 is fine and quoting quality will go with recommended bitrate, these I will just keep as they have them. All right, so send to Google Drive is what I'd like to click on next. And boom, that should be out in my Google Drive. So next what I'm gonna do is go back here to Chrome. I will need to open a new tab here. I'll just go to my quick link for my mail and then click on these squares and go to Drive. And once I'm in my Drive here, you can see that I have quick access to this file right here, which would be my sound file. If I double click on it, it's gonna play, give me the ability to download at this arrow right here. Gonna download that and woo should be in my downloads folder. So now I can go back to Adobe Animate 
All right, and now what we're gonna do is we need a place to put this sound. So actually where we left off last time was we probably just had all of these pieces as drawings. Our eyes are movie clips because those are playing, blinking. But what we should just go ahead and do right now is make all of these graphics. So the head layer with that clicked on that first keyframe, I'm gonna hit F8 and just call this the head graphic. Um, the eyes, as we said, are all set. The nose, I'm gonna hit F8 and call this the nose graphic. Oh already have that in there because I was working on this before. We'll call it nose one. And then for the mouth, again, we're gonna need, this is the important one we really need to make sure we have as a graphic. Um, and then we want that to be mouth. And I think I'm gonna name that mouth one as well, okay? Um, may actually shift this to a movie clip, but we can do that later. Um, so double clicking on that mouth, what we'll do is add a new layer. Uh, this one, the top one, we will call sound. And layer one, we will call uh, mouth, because that really is the one that has our mouth on it. So in order to see this uh, sound, we'll probably need some frames open. So I'm just gonna guess for right now and go to 40 by click, holding, dragging, and then hitting F5 on my keyboard. And so now I have my space ready for my sound to go. Um, I'm gonna go to File and Import, and I'm going to import. I can import right to my stage, since here I am. Actually, I don't have the right layer selected, but I can go Import to Stage, and just import it to the stage directly, or I can go Import to Library. I'll go to Import to Library for now. I'll go to my Downloads folder, and I'm looking for Woo, so that's probably all the way at the bottom. There it is, Woo MP3, we'll say open. Now if I click over to my library, I should see Woo MP3 right here. So now I'll just take this MP3 file and drag it to my stage. And now you can see that it has appeared as a sound wave inside of this file. All right, so now what we need to do is actually make the mouth shapes go the correct way. And you can see I can kind of hear a little bit of the sound there. Now what that is, is because I have this set in my properties to stream. I think you might be automatically put to event, which will want to change that to stream so you can live hear your sound as you scroll back and forth. It will also make it so that your sound doesn't overlap and repeat itself. Sometimes there's issues with sound doing that. Um, but if it's set to stream, and again, get there by just clicking on the first keyframe where your sound is, and then you get your properties bar over here. We also do have some effects and things like that you can make happen in here. And if you do want to edit your sound further while it's in um, Adobe Animate, you just hit on this edit sound envelope um, tool, and you can do some clipping and things like that to your sound in here as well as kind of adjust the volume with these bars. So these are your left and right channels in here and so you can adjust the sound um, if you want it louder or well if you want it quieter really um, you can adjust that level to make it quieter. All right and there are some other things you can do um, with this actually in Twisted Wave that we didn't even talk about. Um, if I go back to that I may have already closed it but there is some things you can do with uh, Twisted Wave changing the pitch and things like that that may be something you want to experiment with um, while you're in there. Anyways, pushing onwards. We want to make sure that I make different mouth graphics that match up to the sound here. So what I'm going to go to now is actually check on our Class E backpack page. If you go to our assignment here, character animation, and we scroll down, you'll see that these are the common mouth shapes for speeches. Um, and so what I'll need to start with is kind of this W um, mouth here. And so I'll go to Adobe Animate um, where this starts is probably right on the second frame here, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F6 to create a new keyframe. I'm going to hit Delete to delete what I have there. And I'm going to draw a new um, mouth. And I'm just going to use my shape tool for right now. I'm going to give it a black outline. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to give it a no outline and a black fill, okay, because the shape I want 
and if I go back to Chrome here, it's kind of this pinched shape in the corners and then um, the two lines going above it. So again, I'm gonna zoom in here, get a little bit closer, um, and I want to add you know, a little bit of that shape to the corners of the mouth. So I'm just gonna kind of add this with my pencil tool. And then I am going to go ahead and use my fill bucket and try and fill in those parts there. Cool. So next I need to add uh, the little accent lines that kind of go outside the mouth there. And um, lastly, I will add in the tongue. And so I'm just gonna draw kind of this little tongue shape here. That's at the bottom of the mouth and fill it. Oops, doesn't want to let me fill it. So let's see, maybe if I highlight it, holding shift and clicking and then try and fill, ah, again, no fills. Oh, because my fill color is black, whoops. Wah, wah. Didn't realize that I didn't change my fill color to red. There we go, all right, silly. So, uh, zooming back out. All right, so that looks pretty good according to um, what I'm looking at here. I feel like the tongue is a little bit big. You know, I'm being nitpicky here a little bit. So um, I'm just gonna take this shape and just, oops, not click on the black part, but just outside the red part. And I can kind of make this so that it's not quite as big. Oops, again, I keep clicking on the uh, mouth shape there. But um, cool, okay, so that works. Now I have my, my quick change in there and it's gonna go woo and huh, whoo, right about here. So I'm gonna put down a new keyframe here and if I refer back to my sounds, I won't see an H. An H sound is pretty much a quiet uh, sound. You can pretty much make a huh sound without moving your mouth. So I'm gonna go with kind of a closed mouth shape actually for this one. So again, I'm gonna just delete what I have there on this keyframe. And on this keyframe, I'm going to add in a new mouth shape. But again, just keep it simple, like a basic, just simple curve type of shape. I'm gonna make sure my pencil color is black and I may actually use my brush tool for this because the brush can be kind of um, just a little more expressive when it comes to lines. Oops, but I will have to change my fill color in order to do that. Remember, your paintbrush is painting with a fill. All right, so I got this kind of mouth going. I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of a line underneath there. And I feel like I'm gonna want this open just a little bit. So I'm just gonna brush on just a little bit more to that mouth shape. Because a huh sound is kind of like just slightly open mouth. And then it's gonna go back to that same O um, shape that I was doing before for the woo. So I'm gonna do another keyframe here delete what I have there and I'm just gonna take this again and copy it. So I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna go here and go edit and paste in place. So I'm gonna use that again. And then at the end here, I'm gonna hit a new keyframe. Again, delete what I had originally and take this first smile that I had drawn and I'm going to go to edit, copy and then edit and paste in place. Okay, so it kind of ends with that smile. So now if I give this a test, all right, I don't actually see it play. And the reason for that, as we stated before, was I did not actually turn this mouth into a movie clip before. I turned it into a graphic. And I kind of knew that I was gonna have to do that. But now that we have that set, we have our speech and our uh, mouth shapes sync to it. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, what we'll get into in our next tutorial is adding the body and uh, arm graphics and using the bone tool to kind of make our arms move in excitement over this slice of pizza. So uh, hope you have a lot of fun with this and be creative and lots of luck.